Okay, and all right, yeah, so this is working. This is working, except for my, you know, placing stuff in the wrong place problem. Um, other than that, it's working out. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Seven Days to Die Alpha 17. Hells to the freaking yeah. Um, I've got two videos to make today, okay, in real life, not, you know, in this game day, but two videos to make today. I'm going to do day 28, and then I'm going to do Horde Night. I can't freaking wait. Uh, you guys saw last episode, I did a lot of work on the Horde base. I was thinking it might not be ready, right? And then I was um, reading some of your comments in one of my past videos, and apparently I had, like, 800 forged iron in one of my chests I didn't realize. So, we're getting up to close to 2,000 forged iron. I know you're thinking... That's crazy. Of course, that's enough forged iron. It still might not be enough, okay? Uh, I put down a lot of wooden bars, okay? Uh, but it might it might actually be enough. We'll see. What I'm going to do is um, I really was not going to stay in that base. Um, I was not going to stay in that base for Horde Night because it's just not ready. But then I was thinking, you know, my, my main base is the only really, really solid Horde base right now. And, you know, the, the, the third wheel base is not really going to do that much uh, for me. Uh, it's not spider zombie proof, although I don't know if they can jump up that high. But um, it's just not it's just not somewhere I want to be. Uh, and I got, I got news for you. No matter what, no matter where I spend my base, my time, my base is not going to be spider zombie proof. Um, so that's going to suck. But we'll see what we can do today. We'll see what we can do. I'll try and get as much work done as I can. What my plan is to upgrade the iron bars that will be the most devastating if a cop destroys them. Which is basically the two layers of iron bars around the amazing base. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. And that's, that's why we need all these points. Uh, we got two points here, huh? Uh, what do I want to do? A lot of people are saying put points into agility. It ups your stamina. It's very true. Uh, putting points in this, into uh, agility while my stamina, but I don't like any of these perks. Like, pretty much at all. Um, uh, yeah, I don't I don't like any of these perks at all. Uh, light armor is the only one I would even think about putting points into, so I don't think so. Um, pain tolerance is up pretty high already, which is really nice. Living off the land is as high as I need it to go. Um, so there's not much there. Uh, pack mules, sex racks, I mean... Sex rise wouldn't be too bad because I, I, you know, when I melee, it really does help. It'll also help when I'm while I'm mining. Um, I just don't know if I absolutely need that right now. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put my points. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold off. Some people are telling me to put points into the um, guns. The problem is the putting points into the guns does not help with your damage per bullet. It helps with DPS damage per second. Okay, like um, shotgun messiah increases rate of fire and reload faster. That's pretty good. But it's not a straight damage boost. It's da it's DPS, damage per second. Which means you're going to have to use the same amount of bullets to do the same amount of damage you did before. You could just do it faster now. And it's like that on all the guns. Gunslinger, increased rate of fire. Um, there's something about successive hits, but I don't know. Five successive hits. I'm not that good of a shot to hit five times in a row. Um, automatic weapons, fire rate on an automatic weapon. Like, why? You know? Um, Deadeye, aiming faster with rifles. That one's pretty decent, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, Dead Eye is the only one I would consider getting, to be honest. Uh, archery, you know, I mean, that's okay, I guess. Explosive weapons is really a big deal. Boom headshots are what I really like. Um, so this one's pretty decent. Um, do I need any points in, any more points in melee? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on my points. There's nothing I, there's nothing that's standing out at me right now, like saying, Oh, you can take me. This is the perfect perk. So... Whenever that's the case and you don't have a perfect perk that's like really shouting at you, it's best to bide your time. I'm kind of in a crunch here to get ready for Horde Night. Um, so I'm going to kind of hold off on the perks for now and we'll, and we'll see. We'll see what's what. I think Boom Headshot would probably be the, the the next one. Try and get those headshots on Horde Night. You know, uh, might be a good idea. And it, I, I'm not a big fan when it comes to guns of DPS. I like damage per shot, not damage per second. Because uh, ammo is going to be a big problem. All right, guys, I got some more forged iron being made up. Brought up all that iron. I think I came up with almost two stacks of iron. Didn't even take that long now, so that's cool. The uh, the steel pick is doing its job. Someone else said I can make an auger, uh, but I don't know if I really need it, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll look into it. I don't know if I need it, though. Like, it causes screamers and stuff, so I don't really know. Uh, I'll think about it. I will think about it. All right, so let's come on down here, and let's... Uh, what do we want to do first? Put the spikes in first? I don't think I want to put the spikes in during the night. Um, so let's not do that first. Let's put down the generator. Um, because we're going to get some lights in here. Now, do I want to put the generator there? Doesn't look very safe. Doesn't look very safe anywhere, to be honest. 
I guess I could always move it later. Um, Alright, I'll just put it here for now. And then I want to put some lights up so you guys will be able to see. And uh, I, I don't have a see. I don't have a land claim block here for these. Uh, all right, you know what? I don't have lights. Let's just turn up the gamma because these things are going to have to be facing out for horde night. So I think we'll just do that. So do we want to put it on the corner? I think on the corner. I honestly, they should go right here for ultimate visibility. But the problem is they'll be in my way, or they could be in my way. Let me put them on the ceiling. Can I put them up here? Uh, not really. Kind of. I mean, that's not a bad spot for them. That's not a bad spot. And that'll be pointing down, covering that way. And, uh, well, that'll be enough for, that'll be enough for now. That will be enough for now. Okay. Alright, let's get some work done here, man. Let's get some real work. The lights are not the issue. Um, the issue is the, this freaking wooden bars, man. Gotta take care of them. So let's go ahead and upgrade these wooden bars. And we'll do the ones right inside first. Well, if we can't do both levels, like if we can't do the inside and the outside, then I'm not going to be here for Horde Night. That one cop will look at these look at these iron bars, and they will just fall down in like no time. And that will be GG. Um, all this work will be for nothing. So I don't want to deal with that. So um, I don't know. At first I thought we definitely weren't going to be able to Horde Night here. Now I'm not so sure. Uh, I do have a lot of... Uh, a lot of resources here, so let's see what we can do. There we go. One, two. One, two. One, and two. And one, and two. Oh, boy. Let's see how much we've used so far. 620, huh? Oh, boy. This stuff goes quick. It goes quick. I'm going to see what it takes for one whole side. What we'll do is when we're done on this side, I'll wait for it to roll over, and then we'll just go on one side and see how see how many um see how much forge iron takes for an entire side. All right, so here we go. Let's wait for that to clear out. Getting some decent experience for this too, which is nice. Thank you very much, fun pimps. All right, here we go. So we'll just uh, I mean I could probably just do the math, but this is this is just as easy. It, uh, this is easier actually. Okay. Oh, it's morning. Cool. Now we can put in the spikes today. Still debating whether I want to uh, set up trap doors yet, um, hatches for above the uh, above the spikes. I am going to eventually. I just don't know if I'm going to today. It doesn't seem like a great use of my time. All right, there you go. About about 400, 420. Haha. <laughs> yeah. All right, so about 400. So that's about 800 total for the entire bottom half. Um, you know, I, I had about. I, that's about what I had. It's gonna eat up everything. Uh, I'm still not sure if I want to spend horde night here, man. Cause like. Yeah, they won't be able to knock the stuff out below me, but they could still hit the sides here and take out all the wooden bars. One thing's for sure, I'm not putting down any more wooden bars um, until I can upgrade them. Um, the cops really aren't my main concern. My main concern, if these wooden bars get knocked down, is two things. Number one, I will have wasted time putting them up, <laughs> which will bother me. Uh, number two, it will leave me uh, susceptible to spider zombies, but I think I'm going to be susceptible to spider susceptible to spider zombies either way. So... Don't think it really matters much, to be honest. All right, there we go. So the whole bottom part is done, and we have about 238 iron bars left. So this is the most important area right here, because this is where I've done the most work. So I think we'll start in this corner right here and start upgrading. Um, I guess from the bottom up. We want to be uh, as, 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 you know, as careful here as possible where we upgrade um, so we get the most bang for our buck. Because I, re I really want to spend my horde night here, you know? If I can't spend my horde night here, I'm gonna be upset. So we'll see how we'll see how that works out. You know, I can remember at one point people told me I was wasting my time digging uh, digging the dirt out underneath this base, and my reaction was, "Well, I need clay, right?" And man, it doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often. But man, I like it when I'm right. Okay, I'm so out of clay. It's not even funny. I need so much more clay. Like it's sick, right? Uh, I got an idea for another base, by the way, um, a fourth pillar to this three pillar base, but I think I'm going to do it in here this time. Uh, that way I don't have to dig anything or at least not much. Um, it's, it's like, uh, I saw, I saw someone do it on my, um, my, uh, the cage crew server. It's like, you have a little ramp and th the people have done this before. I've seen people do it and, uh, it's probably going to be the next thing I play with. Um, but you have a little ramp that leads up to a one block walkway 
and then you just have the zombies walk around that one block walkway while you shoot them. And they will stay on, well, I'm assuming they're going to stay on the one block. It's just a one block walkway, like four or five blocks off the ground. And they just kind of make their way to you, um, walking around in a circle. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a maze without walls. It, it was really interesting. I don't know if it's going to work in 17.1, but my buddy told me he used it in 17.1 and it worked beautifully. Um, but that's, that's going to be for another time. Uh, it's just something I'm looking forward to in the future. Uh, but we got to make a ton of cobblestone and uh because that's what i'll be making this base out of originally i was going to make the top part of this base out of wood now i think cobblestone's probably for the best um why i don't know i don't know why not you know um i guess i can make it out of wood but one cop puke up there it just it melts wood you know um i don't know we're, we're, we're gonna need uh you know what i'm not i'm not con i'm not convinced i'm gonna do that now that i think about it is it gonna be wood or is it gonna be cobblestone I, it doesn't really matter what it's made out of because i could just paint it like from an aesthetic purpose you know it doesn't matter what i build up there out of because i'm gonna paint it so whether it's stone or cobblestone i mean i would i would argue that which one's easier to get wood right i mean wood is easier to get you do have to upgrade it so yeah maybe I, maybe i will make it out of wood i need to decide because i need to start upgrading up there uh, so, cause I want to put some lights up and I can't really put lights. Well, I mean, I guess I could, but I, I don't want to put lights on, uh, I know I heard something. Huh. Okay. Maybe not. Um, I don't want to put lights on unupgraded blocks. You know what I mean? So yeah, maybe I will make it out of wood. We'll see. Either way, we're going to need clay because I need clay for the forge. My forge is like completely out of clay. Well, not completely out, but I have very, very little clay in that forge. So definitely gonna need some clay. All right, guys, we've got a problem laying down spikes in here. I've got no way to get through this without without getting caught on barbed wire or getting hurt, right? I can't, like, put this down because the barbed wire is in the way. I could put it down some places, but not in others. Uh, it's just a big mess. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to break out some iron bars up top, and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and just put put in the hatches. I I didn't really want to do it today, but you know what? We have to wait for the uh, forged iron to get cooked anyway, so... I guess it's fine. We could just we could just do this while we have to forge on to get cooked. These spikes going down has got to be number one priority. And um, I also want to put down the barbed wire. So uh, now where do we want to put the the hatches? I'd like to put them in a in specific areas. So I think we're gonna do a counting with cage. All right, one. Well, I don't know how far. Every three spots or what do you think? Well, there's got to be one right here. Put one in the corner. Yeah, I guess it's one in the corner. Then one, two, three, and then one right there. See, the thing is, I don't know how far I'm going to be able to reach until I've done it. So we just got to break this out now. Um, well, you guys told me I was going to have to break out these iron bars because I forgot. And uh, by golly, you were right. Um, also, we're going to put these down now. And I think I'm just going to upgrade these to hell with it. Because this is going to be my wall. It's going to be made out of wood. And that's that. Uh, wait, why am I doing... No, that's not going to... That's not that. That is not going to be made out of wood. That's actually going to be um, that's actually going to be bars. Um, so if that's bars, that's going to complicate things a little bit. Um, yeah, because we, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter because those bars will actually hold up the hatch, right? If we put a hatch here, it needs something to hold it up. Uh, I could put it upside down. Yeah, I could put it upside down. Who cares? Upside down would actually be, probably be, perf well, maybe preferred. Not really sure. I don't think it matters, to be honest. Um, so we do have some, oh God, really? I, I can't believe we're so far into Alpha 17. They haven't fixed that extra swing yet. All right, so here we go. So we'll do this, advanced rotation. Is that the way I want it to be? Yes. And there you go. All right, now, can we, we can't reach down there from here. How is this going to work? How is this going to work, I ask you? There's no way. Yeah, so we're going to have to put um, frames down there, but the, uh, will the frame here work? Yes, it does. Wow. Wow, okay. But I'm going to start these back a little bit farther, so we can put one there. Uh, oh, yeah, I was supposed to use, mm, I totally forgot about that. I was supposed to use uh, barbed wire fencing as well as the spikes. And I don't have any on me. And through the power of editing. There we go. Alright, now we're, I can't really repair them. That's the only thing that kind of 
kind of stinks about this. I don't think I can get over to repair. Uh, I kind of repair. Oh yeah, I can repair. Can I repair everything? We should put double hatches in here. Cause I'm not gonna. Well, maybe I can repair with what I'm below, what I'm standing on. Let me see. No. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Awesome. So I can repair everything there. I might not be able to repair the barbed wire on the sides, but to be perfectly honest, I don't really care. Um, so let's go ahead and put some barbed wire on the side. So, yep. Just like that. Right? Is that... I can't see where it is. See? I can't see where it is. I know it's on the side here. So it must be on the side there, I guess. Probably. I guess. I'm just going to put it wherever. <laughs> Honestly, I can't, like... I can't see where it is from up here. Now, the barbed wire is annoying, but it's it's really useful. So, you know, what are you going to do? All right, let's put that right there. There. I'm going to assume this is on the side. I can't tell if it is. No, it's not. I think it's on the other side. Yeah, whatever. Put it somewhere, right? All right, so that can go there. Okay, so we can reach all the way to there. So it looks like we can reach one, two blocks on both ways. So we can reach here, we can reach here. So we should be able to do right here. This should be the next one. The next hatch. Let's see. How many spaces is that? Uh, hatch, one, two, three, four, hatch. Hatch, one, two, three, four, hatch. One, two, three, four, hatch. Oh, boy. Can we reach five spots, you think? Probably not, right? I think there's going to be stuff we can't do in there. I want to make the decision now before I break out the freaking things. Maybe we should just go every three. Just because we know we can reach everything. Why Why push it to the limit? Push it to the limit. Limit. Blah, blah, blah. The razor's edge. Gotta win it. Oh, man. I, I heard that song. Uh, that I heard that song first in Scarface. No, actually, I heard that song first in... Grand Theft Auto Vice City, then I heard it in Scarface, and then I heard it on South Park. I love that song. Push it to the limit. Oh my god. Alright, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, one, two, three, good. One, two, three, good. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, one, one, two. You can go one, two there, and then one, two. Alright, so we'll go three on the sides, two in the middle. Uh, it's, it's kind of putting more hatches in than I need, but yeah, I'm okay with that, because I can't deal with uh, stuff that's not symmetrical. It just piss me off. There's no middle here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's no middle. There's no middle. So you have to put two in there. Otherwise, it's not going to be in the middle. So that is fine. All right, so let's go ahead and put a hatch here. You know, guys, I'm going to have to apologize. We're not going to get to Horde Night tomorrow. <laughs> okay, It's still way, way early in the morning. We're almost done with this video. I th the next video is going to be more uh, more base building. I know you guys like the base building, so I know you probably don't care. But I know some of you are probably like really interested to see how this is going to work on Horde Night. But, um, you know, hang in there, guys. We'll get there. We will get there, I promise. All right, so let's go ahead and copy rotation. And then put that one there. 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 We will upgrade these as well. Um, just so the cops don't, you know, make mincemeat of them too easily. Um, we could probably upgrade them right now. Is there any reason not to? Yeah, let's hold off. Let's hold off. Ne never upgrade something you don't have to. Until you, you know, well, you have to. Um, so let's come on down here. Okay, so. Number one, let's make sure everything that's down is repaired. Yeah. Alright, so this one needs to be repaired. Beautiful. What about that? That's repaired. Okay. Yeah, this is going to work with the hatches. I like it. Uh, that is not supposed to go there. That's supposed to go there. And there. And then we will bring this up here. Bring this over here. And that goes there and there. Uh, I put it the wrong way. All right, well, whatever. I'm not going to I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, it's going to bother me, but eh. <laughs> it'll be gone by tomorrow. So, all right. So that goes up there. You go down there. Now, once we... Once we figure out how to do this, and I do it once, the next few times will be a lot easier. Um, this is going to be a good horde base. I didn't put down the other stuff. Eh, whatever. I'll do that later. All right. So that stuff's good. Let's, first of all, repair. No. 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 The one underneath us does need to be repaired. Um, why couldn't I reach that from over here? It definitely needs to be repaired. Did I just look in the wrong spot? Or... I can't... Oh, okay. I thought when you look at it, it would show the repair icon if it needed to be repaired. 
So when I didn't see the repair icon, I was like, well, it just doesn't need to be repaired. But like that, see? Okay, so those should be good. This one's good. The one I'm standing on should be good. And let's do that. And wait a second. Make sure it's facing the right way. It is not. <laughs> oh, left mouse, left mouse button rotates there, buddy. Nice job. Nice job. Let's try that again. All right, so that's going the right way. Yes, that is not. All right, you know what? I give up. Whatever. I don't care how they go. They go however they want. <laughs> it's just one of those things. All right. Repair, repair, repair. You're good. Oh, repair there. Okay. You should all be nicely, nicely repaired. Uh, Yeah, let's do the barbed wire now. Nah, you know what? I don't have a lot of room in my hotbar, so I'm just going to do all the spikes first. Then we'll go back and do the barbed wire afterwards. I don't want to fill up my hotbar with all this stuff, you know? All right, so repair first. There you go. How about you? Nope. Nope. Probably reached all these from the other side, so. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, so you go. And then, yep, good. You go right there. Okay, and all right, yeah, so this is working. This is working, except for my, you know, placing stuff in the wrong place problem. Um, other than that, this is working out. Okay. Did we reach this one below us from... We'll probably could reach it from that side. Here we go. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Okay, so now that goes right there. And then this one goes right there. Come on, work with me here. No? No. All right, that's fine. You don't have to work with me. All right, so let's grab the barbed wire and let's do the barbed wire on the sides. Yeah, this is going to work out. This is going to work out. Did we do all the barbed wire on that side? I think we did. Okay. So, we can't go there. So, there, there, there. I think that one went down in the wrong way. I'm not sure. Okay, so I can kind of see the barbed wire now. Yeah, the only thing that makes the barbed wire annoying is the fact that I can't see it. Like, I'm not really sure which way it's going down. Like, and sometimes I think it's going down the wrong way, but... I mean, it'll be effective anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal, but it's just, you know... Now, this kit, this won't go on the ground, right? Because this is not... Yeah, so there. All right, so as long as we don't have it... Um, as long as we don't have it set up for advanced rotation, it'll be easy. Because then, you know, there's only four ways it could rotate, so... Should not be a problem. So that's, yeah, so that should be going the right way, right? I can't see it. No, it's not. Well, we got some there anyway. There we go. Okay, I can kind of see it now. Come on. There we go. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. And it's already below us. It might not, I might not be able to put the barbed wire down perfectly. Come on. There. I might not be able to put the barbed wire down perfectly, but I think I can get it good enough. There we go. Oh, I could see it there. Okay. Very good. Very good. Didn't get broken out there. Can't really see it there. Oh, I saw it. It rotates in four directions too. So if it's like, if it's like on the right and you can see it, then you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, why didn't this get upgraded? Look at this. That's right. It ran out. Yeah, let's do some of that. This is the most important thing. Well, actually, the spikes are the most important thing. Because if you know the spikes down there, they're just going to run through and not, like, get hit or anything. So the spikes are definitely more important. But this is, uh, this is starting to work out pretty well for me. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Nope. I screwed that up. That one, that one was good. Yeah, it's going to take some practice. All right. So that is on the left side. Now it's on the left side. So you go one, and then that should be against the wall. As far as I can tell. 
Oh, it went up. Oh, well, whatever. That's fine. Uh, so that one's down. There, so now it's on the right side. One, two, three. And that should be against the wall. It's weird, though. When you get on certain angles, though, it, like, changes the way the angle works. So it just screws everything up. All right, so is this going to be every two as well? It's going to... No, it's three and then two. Oh, no. Well, I know you guys probably are, probably saw this, but obviously I didn't until now. <sighs> One, two, three, hatch. One, two, hatch. And the thing is, one, two, three, hatch works perfect. I should have known that one, two, three, hatch would have worked perfectly because I built it in an odd number on purpose, I think. I don't know. I actually didn't, I didn't design any of that. I just kind of went with it. Um, I screwed up, all right? I need to change the hatches. Basically, it's going to work like over here, right? Hatch, one, two, three, hatch. One, two, three, hatch. One, two, three, hatch. One, two, three, hatch. What a pain in the ass. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, I'm glad I eventually saw it. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys left a lot of comments, so I'm sure that will be uh, fun for me to read. Anyway, the only thing that pisses me off, really pisses me off about it is the fact that I'm wasting um, iron bars now, which is just, just the worst. Anywho... I am going to call this one here, guys. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank, thank you very much. Oh, my God. Thank you very much for watching again. <laughs> I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.